Alright lads, it's the Meta Goblin here, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to correctly gear up your Frost DK and your Unholy DK. Then we'll go into which are the optimal stats that you want to be aiming towards which with each individual gear piece. And uh, then we'll finish off with the enchanting, which stats to enchant. And then obviously we'll go in and talk about the runes, and then we'll talk about un uh, Unholy Spec as well. So I noticed that somebody on the armory was geared a very different way to all the other DKs and I decided to consult him in game and ask him why he's gearing the way he is. His name is Rustica. Rus Rustica. He's a very, very high skilled DK, he's one of the best in the world at the moment. And I kinda I, I looked at how he was geared and it made a lot of sense to me. It made massive sense to me. And, and as, as soon as I saw the gear pieces he, he was going for. So I asked him and he basically briefly explained to me and sent me a link to this this forum on Arena Junkies where this guy had done a lot of research into the best stats to go for for Frost DK. And those are haste and versatility. Okay. Um, recently people have been going mastery at multi-strike. Um, yeah, m mastery is a stat you want to have, um, but it's not, it's not the best stat. The best stat to go for is haste and versatility. Versatility gives you a lot of damage, but mostly is the haste. We're going to be talking a lot about haste in this video. Okay, so very recently, haste overall in the game got massively buffed for everyone, and the effects of haste got sorted out. And also, AC Talons in Frostbeck got buffed again. So we've got a lot of passive haste, just like chilling there in the background. And on top of the haste that we gear, we get a shitload of haste. Okay, what haste means for a Frost DK is effectively um, faster frost runes, more killing frenzy, uh, was it killing machine procs, and basically more runic power and more damage, a lot more damage. Now, right, the thing is, um, obviously, the longer you go on without not proccing killing machine, the higher the chance increases, so therefore, like, haste is a little irrelevant to that. But the thing is, the faster weapon swings, the more uh, procs you get. And you know, you're in those situations where you have a killing machine proc. And you're about to consume it with your frost strike because your obliterate's got about four seconds to come out on the off the cooldown. But with, with with stacking haste, that four seconds probably only turned into about two seconds. Um, your your frost runes are becoming back very very very. All your runes are becoming back very very quickly, and you have a much higher uptime on on your obliterate, which means more um, more. Um, what would you, more consumption of killing machine with obliterate which obviously increases a lot a lot loads loads of more damage because frost strike using um, a killing machine with frost strike obviously sucks because the damage is crap in a two hand stacking haste also has extremely good synergy with the talent runic corruption what runic corruption does is it um, basically cuts your rune speed in half so say they're about seven seconds that gets put down to 3.5 and um, with stacking haste, you're probably going to get rune times of about 2-3 to three seconds, which is seriously quick whenever rune corruption procs. Now this means, um, you, w when choosing pieces, gear pieces, uh, and prioritizing haste and versatility, it means you actually sacrifice the 4 set bonus with the, with the set. And now you might think I'm talking out of my ass when I say this, but I'm not. Right, the 4 set bonus it increases your frost damage on that target by 10% whenever you cast a Howling Blast, and it's a f the free Howling Blast. Now the problem with that, with, with that is it won't increase the damage of Obliterate at all. It will only increase the damage of rune, uh, Frost Strike. And Frost Strike isn't really our damaging ability, it's the filler ability to get our damage up again. And, you know, it, it won't even increase the frost damage of Breath, Breath of Sigigosa either. It, it, all it does, increase, it increases the damage or frost strike, which is it's it's quite useful useless in um in what were in two hand spec. Now the thing is, whenever you get the the free proc howling blast proc, you're not going to consume it with um, howling blast because that is actually a pressure loss. What frost DKs want to do instead is always go for the purge glyph with icy touch and consume that free. Um, that free Howling Blast with Icy Touch instead, because it also uh, makes uh, Icy Touch free, or free of runes. And that is what you want to be doing. You want to be, you barely want to be doing Howling Blast, to be honest. Howling Blast is like whenever you don't need to purge, which is virtually never. With the Purge Glyph, you'd be purging like every 5 to 10 seconds. And that is pretty sweet. I mean, if you think about it, 
Power Ward has about 15 second cooldown with uh, Weak and Soul, and that absorbs a lot of damage. It's about a quarter of your, of someone's health. So with one icy touch, you're effectively taking away a quarter of um, someone's health. And you know, rejuvenation probably the fuel duration heals up at a quarter of quarter of someone's health, and you're just taking it away with a purge. It basically it does a lot more pressure than one howling blast. Now the also the advantage of going for a haste build is that you have your, your obviously you have your runes quicker, which means you can actually use your, your utility more, you can purge more with Icy Touch when you don't have the free free version and you can use Icy Touch more without it drastically affecting your rotation. So it's basically increasing your damage, increasing utility is doing a lot for you. So in the description I've left a complete list of basically each gear piece and which stats they have. So um, it would be like for instance gloves, gloves, it will just say gloves, haste, versatility and you look for the piece with the haste and versatility and that's a piece you buy and equip. Um, I'm going to go from a gear quickly. Most of it's actually wrong at the moment because some of the pieces I've won and I've not actually bought myself. But those glow gauntlets is definitely what you want to go for. Um, here we have the bell, you know, haste. Haste is really, really what you want, but sometimes you can't get haste and versatility over time. So getting haste with uh, mastery is not bad. Getting haste with multi strike isn't bad either. Getting haste with crit is diabolical. Crit is a diabolical stat, it's completely nerfed in PvP, and we don't need it because we have 100% chance to crit anyway with um, a killing machine proc. So it's completely useless. There you go, you've got haste mastery there. I'm always prioritiz prioritizing haste. Um, unfortunately I've got um crit piece but I can't avoid that there. There you go, haste, haste mastery, uh mastery, and multi strike that's but I could probably need to replace that piece. I'm not actually sure. Because you do, well actually you need two pieces of a set, in fact, to get the two set bonus, because that is a massive advantage at um at twenty five percent damage increase is nice. There you go, I've got a haste piece there. Um for enchanting, um it's it's up to you. You can either go full out haste or you can go a bit out of versatility. It's completely your choice. Um, here's here's the difference. Basically, if you go for more for haste, um, you'll have a bit more utility because you have faster runes. Um, maybe a bit more overall damage. I don't know. But if you go for versatility, you're definitely going to have a lot more burst. Um, you're going to have a lot more, a tiny bit more damage. I think the difference is very, very tiny. So if you go with versatility, you're going to have a bit more damage. If you go with haste, you're going to have a bit more utility. In Unholy Spec, you have a little less uh, choice because you really need to go for the uh, four set bonus. The four set bo bonus is a huge, huge advantage for um, Unholy Spec, and you always want to go for the four set bonus. Um, in terms of stats, you want to prioritize mastery and multi strike and versatility if you can. If you can get those three stats on the piece of your gear, get them. Uh, mastery being the highest priority and then being multi strike and then versatility. Um, but basically you want to also enchant fully um, mastery, just fully mastery on your neck and rings, basically just all out mastery. The rune that you always want to use is Rune of Fall Crusader, uh, without a shadow of a doubt. If you really are going to wield, and I recommend you don't, then you go with Rune of Fall and Crusader and Rune of Razor Ice. That's all from me guys, um, you know I hope that you're not too worried like buying the wrong pieces because obviously you're going to have chance to buy the correct pieces later because you know you can you can buy the conquest po pieces with honor points when you get to a certain rate and a certain conquest point earned in a season so don't don't chill you know just just chill just chill if you bought the wrong pieces because you have time to correct it and it's not going to be it's not the end of the world if you currently have the wrong pieces because you can just you can just get the correct pieces later that is it for me uh, the Meta Goblin here ciao I can't seem to stand